Hello USC 489, this is Marie Henderson. In this video, we're going to look at the fourth step in the list of instructions for earning Knowledge PD credit. So if we scroll down here on the main USD 489 Flex website, instruction number four under Knowledge Points says, submit evidence of your research reflection and or collaboration in the Flex Knowledge PDC evidence submission form. Await a response from Flex staff. So if we click on the link to this form, an Office 365 form appears. If you haven't requested that your browser keep track of your Office 365 login information, you'll first come to a login screen where you'll enter your district email address and the same password you use to log on to your district computer before getting to this screen where you'll submit the evidence of the knowledge you've acquired through the flex tasks you've completed. So here at the top, the first thing I need to do is enter the title of the flex exactly as it was listed in Frontline. So that same one I've been using for each of our videos was called Creating Hyperdocs Using Office 365 Tools. So I enter that there. And then the first thing it asks me to do is upload the time card that shows the evidence of the time I spent completing my knowledge tasks. So if I click to upload file, I can find that here. Notice that each of the files I'm going to upload actually starts with my first initial and my last name. If I drag over here a little bit, I can see which one I want to upload here. So this one is the knowledge points time card. You can see in the little bubble that appears. So I click on it and I click open. And it'll take a moment there, but it's going to upload my file. I don't want to leave this site, so I'm going to click cancel here. And I can scroll down. And the next thing that I need to do is upload any meeting notes and or reflection forms that I filled out. Of course, the reflection option is available within the hashtag FlexShare meeting notes. And I can use those even if I don't have an in-person meeting to demonstrate how I've reflected on my tasks. So I'm going to click upload file here again. And I actually have two meeting notes. One I may have used for an in-person meeting and the other one just for some reflection. So I'm going to hit shift on my keyboard and then my down arrow in order to select both of those. Of course, you can also hit control on your keyboard and click on each one individually to highlight them both and then click to open. And then if we scroll down a little bit further, I have one more opportunity to add any more files that would demonstrate my knowledge acquisition. Some of the flex activities have you complete a graphic organizer or some sort of thinking prompt handout and anything that you have completed over the course of your knowledge acquisition, you can upload here. Let me scroll back up for just a moment and point one other thing out to you. Notice here on question three, I had a file limit of five, so I could actually have uploaded five files here. But up here on this first one, there was only one option. There's only one time card that you'll keep per each flex you complete. And then down here on number four, notice that you have an option of two files, but this question is not required as you may not have any other evidence to submit there that demonstrates your knowledge acquisition. So last but not least, I can click here to get an email receipt of my responses. I encourage you to do that simply for your own record keeping. And then once each of the files that you've uploaded is finished attaching itself to this form, you'll be able to click submit and your record will come to me and I'll be able to go through your evidence. As always, if you have questions or you need further assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks and have a great day.